what's the difference between the magnetic properties of iron versus steel? Well, both of these materials have iron in them, and iron is a magnetic material, so they can both be magnetized. So the difference is that iron loses its magnetism quickly, whereas steel can be permanently magnetized. So iron loses any, and I'm going to call it induced magnetism. Remember that an induced induced magnetism is where you bring a magnet up to the material and all of the little domains in that material will get lined up and that will make the material a magnet itself. But when you take iron away from that magnetic field, all of those little domains scramble up again in random directions, meaning that, that it doesn't become a magnet anymore. So iron loses any induced magnetism quickly and it is what we call a soft magnetic material. Okay, now this is actually quite useful as a property because it means that we can use iron in devices such as transformers which need to be magnetized and demagnetized quickly as many as 50 times a second. Now if we used steel then steel would become a permanent magnet and we wouldn't be able to demagnetize it very easily and that would mean the transformer would not work. So the important thing is the key word is a soft magnetic material. That's material that loses its magnetism quickly. Steel can be permanently, permanently magnetized. Magnetized. Um, and it is what we call a hard magnetic material. So a hard magnetic material is a material that once you've lined up all the domains by bringing a magnet close to it, then if you take the magnet away, all those little domains will be pointing in the same direction. They'll keep their position and it will retain some of the magnetism. And that's why we can make permanent magnets out of steel. So many bar magnets will be made of a type of steel. So iron is a soft magnetic material and we would say that it forms a temporary magnet. Okay, that's the difference between iron and steel.